my name is Nadine Piri and I'm the curator of the Swakopmund Museum. We are celebrating Heritage Week 2022 with the theme Unity and Diversity. Have you ever wondered why the Swakopmund Museum has a pharmacy? Well, I'll be telling you about it. Emil Kivet founded the Adler Pharmacy in 1909 in Swakopmund. It was the second biggest pharmacy to be established in Southwest Africa after the Luisen Pharmacy in Winter. One has to appreciate the worth of such a pharmacy in the middle of the desert. The name Adler Pharmacy, or in English it would be translated the Eagle Pharmacy, has a special meaning of high-flying spirit. Because to be able to start up a pharmacy in the middle of the desert needs a person that is industrious, courageous, intelligent, but most important of all, has endurance. In 1929, Gerd Böker joined the team and there was a change of ownership in 1931. Gerd Boker was known to make his own medicine and soon there would be a whole array of things that could cure climate related ailments and bring relief. Where was this done? Well, in the basement of the pharmacy, Gerd Boker had his laboratory. He formulated and mixed his own concoctions right there. And some of these medicines even found a place on the South African market. But because of the war, there were no more shipments from Germany that arrived with medicine. But not to fear, because Gerd Böker could make his own medicine, Swakopmund was still well taken care of. In 